Hey guys, what's up? It's me, you casting here, the Unity Life, and today I want to give you guys an update to my live stream that I did a few hours ago. And as you can see, bam, it happened just as I said it will happen. But try to remember, it doesn't. It, the data wasn't good. It, it really wasn't good, and I cannot see it wasn't good. And as you can see, we this is the trade that I trade. Um, a few hours ago and now it's down and it looks like it's trying to push itself back up so it might go back down but that's it so guys I'm gonna take profit right so as you can see there that's how I really trade on coming the trading up I trade things that once I see here or I trade, once I see an uptrend or a downtrend, when it's starting, then I jump in. And if it trade down, and let's say if it was my real account and I start to make profit over my target, then I withdraw. I I stop. Well, I stop the trade. And if it if I am seeing a bigger target. For like let's say if I'm seeing like 0 0.70 then I will leave the trade running for days and stuff so that's what's going on here and it looks like it might go back down some more but um, I'm just gonna see how it is and I would, I'll probably get back to this tomorrow and then I will look at it and see what's going on but that's just proved my point so if you like what you see, you could join Humble Trading App. If you want to join, the link is down below in the description. And that's how I trade on Humble Trading App. And to honestly tell the truth, it, it works for me. I mean, I, I, I have a strategy, but the strategy, I call my strategy is high and low strategy, which meaning that I trade uptrends and downtrends and stuff, and that's it. So you know and i told you guys the target really was 0 0.71 it is still a target but i can't see it it could it could hit it today yeah? you never know but next week next week is an, a brand new week and i will i will probably enter the street but not for now the candlestick stun is to tell the truth it's a little too small so i ain't really so sure it could possibly go down but it could also reverse and go back up so that's why i the trade and stuff but let me just tell you something right guys the high volatile event pushed this thing down right this was a combination between the usd and the nzd usd both high volatile events now somebody there was a few people who say that trading high volatile events is like gambling no actually it's very easy you just have to use your head and look at what you see and you have to go back in the past and see how the the data affect the pair so i knew it was bad i knew that i had to trade this pair because i had a monthly um I had a monthly um high volatile events between the usd and the entity usd which was a month both of them had three balls right so I had to trade this pair because I wanted to trade it. But as you can see, we are right now in the NZD um, volatile event and it pushed the price down as I said it would. And it's still pushing down the price. Now, that event is still going on, but I exit because I saw how I saw it and it happened, right? Now, there's a perception seeing that um, professional traders. They see, they are able to see into the future. Now, I am not, I'm going to tell the truth. I cannot do that. But what I could see is based what, when I look at this, I see my um, previous, my, I see my previous trades with this. And that's how I enter the trade. So that's why I knew, well, I wouldn't say I knew, but that's why I trade based off of that seeing it will I go down and that's what I did right so guys um this is my update for today so one trade and as you can see one it won right so guys take care of yourself be safe have a good day and remember if you could make a lot of money on humble trading up 
it depends on how you invest but sometimes you have to do that extra hard work you know don't just come and handle trading and trade based off of your guessing you have to really look at the pay you have to go into it heck wise who's out just watch news and write down what the people say and look at the words because sometimes the words in the news in the news can also affect the pay so you have to watch the words and look at the um data and stuff why is this just research the data based on the pay on the internet and look through years of data and how it affect the thing so i knew it would have did exactly what it did so and that's it so as you can see it looked like it probably going back up that's why i exit the trade but i'm not so sure you know they kind of sit too small but that's how it is so guys take care of yourself be safe have a good day goodbye um i don't know if this